In this video tutorial, we're going to create um, some downloads in our download area in E107, but we're going to be a bit fancier and we're going to add a podcast to the server, which is just an MP3 file, where you could even add a video. Um, but what we're going to use to add that is called, a, is called an FTP program, which stands for File Transfer Protocol. The reason that we use that instead of the normal file manager in E107 is um, an FTP program transfers the file more efficiently and you can transfer multiple files. So if you're adding lots of downloads to your website or large downloads, then it's best to use an FTP program. You can get a free FTP program called FileZilla from http colon forward slash forward slash filezilla dot sourceforge dot net. Go there and then just click on download, which will take you to the downloads page. And you just you don't want the server, you just want the client, so you click download there. And we want the setup.exe file. So click that, and then it gives you a choice of servers. I'm going to choose the one that's closest to me, which is Australia. We click download, and the window will pop up shortly. If it doesn't, you can just click this link here, but here's the window. So I'll go save, and I'll just say my desktop. So that's nice and easy. Now, I've actually already installed it. When that saves, when it's completed saving, just double click it on your desktop and it'll start the installation and just say yes to everything until it's finished. Okay, so once you've installed it, um, run the program and it'll come up looking like this. It may come up looking like that. I find this is the easiest way to do it. Here's um, our local folder and here's the folder that's actually on the server. Now, uh, you would have been sent um, your website login and password. It's probably in an email called uh, your website has been activated. And it has the information that you'll need. You'll need the FTP address. Um, but that's normally just ftp.yourname.co.nz. Then your username, which is normally... Um, your website name such as your name without the .co.nz and then your really cryptic password that we give you and then the port number which oh, we the port number is 21 for FTP so just put 21 in there and then you click quick connect so I'll just do that now and so it shows that we're connecting and it's showing us a list over here we want to go into the web folder which means your website then we want E107 files, and then we want to go inside the downloads folder. And this shows us what's already in there. As you can see, I've already uploaded a file there, but um, in my Greco folder on my local computer here, I'm going to click and drag this. And actually, if I hold down my control key and click the other file, I can copy that across too. So you just drag it across. And you'll notice that using FTP is a lot faster at transferring files too. So it's telling you all of the commands, you don't need to worry about that, but it is actually transferring. If I bring this window up a little bit, we can see the progress down here, 17%. So it's going up there quite quickly. I'll just pause this video. So as you can see, the file's now completed uploading. So what we want to do now is log into our website. So I'll switch back to my web browser. Now at the end of the domain name, after the forward slash, you type E107 underscore admin. Actually, I'll just log out and log back in so you can see what you should be seeing. E107 underscore admin and then you put in your login and password. That'll be the same login and password that you used for FTP. Click login. Now we go to our content menu, then down to downloads. And if you haven't already set up your download categories, uh, watch the downloads video. So I want to create a download and it's going to go into my downloads folder that I created earlier. And I'm going to call this 
podcast zero one um, of course you can call it whatever you like and you can come back and change the name later too and then we choose the one that we just uploaded which is that one there and the author I'll just put my name for now and your email address and the website and then you can put a description this is an example of a podcast download you could also upload um, thumbnail images into the download thumbs folder um, and also the larger images as well that when they click on the thumbnail the large image opens I'm not going to do that though and you can also choose a date stamp for it but you don't need to worry about that status active file is subject to download limits presently we haven't got any limits on it um, allow comments if you don't want people to comment on the download then turn that off and everybody's got access to it so submit download now if I open up my Internet Explorer it shows our two downloads there Internet Explorer is still opening or is it So now if I go to the website and click on podcasts, which is actually our downloads folder, we can see our new podcast, the date that it was added. We can also sort by date as well. Um, that it was added by me. It hasn't been rated. If we click directly on download, it will actually start playing. But if we click on the actual link there, we can go inside and see the further information about it. So I'm going to click on the download, and we'll open it. And then our media player, I'll just resize this. It actually starts playing. And that's how easy it is.